Hello friends, this is the West Coast Math Tutor. Recall that exponential growth is not limited. Today we are going to look at the mathematical model which is called logistic growth. The difference of logistic growth to exponential growth is that logistic growth is limited. Note that nothing on earth from population growth to the spread of an epidemic can grow exponentially indefinitely. Growth is always limited. This is shown by the asymptote. The logistic growth model is a function used to model situations of this type. Long story short, the mathematical model for limited logistic growth is given by f of t equals c over 1 plus a times e raised to the power of negative b times t, where a, b and c are constants with b greater than 0 and c greater than 0. As time increases, the expression a times e raised to the power of negative b times t approaches 0 and f of t gets closer and closer to c. This means f of t equals c is a horizontal asymptote for the graph of the function. Let's make an example to make these things clear. The function f of t equals 30,000 over 1 plus 20 times e raised to the power of negative 1.5 times t describes the number of people f of t who have become ill with flu t weeks after its initial outbreak in town with 30,000 residents. How many people become ill with the flu when the epidemic began? The given logistic growth function is f of t equals 30,000 over 1 plus 20 times e raised to the power of negative 1.5 times t. We start by t equals 0 because that's the time at the beginning of the flu epidemic. So when we substitute 0 for t, we can find the number of people who were ill at the beginning of the epidemic. So we can write f of 0 equals... 30,000 over 1 plus 20 times e raised to the power of negative 1.5 times 0. The negative of 1.5 times 0 is 0 and any non-zero number raised to 0 is 1. And 20 times 1 is 20, so we get 30,000 over 21. Which is approximately 1,429. How many people were ill by the end of the fourth week? When we substitute 4 for t in the logistic growth function, we find the people who were ill at the end of the fourth week. So we are going to use the given logistic growth function f of t equals 30,000 over 1 plus 20 times e raised to the power of negative 1.5 times t. By plugging in 4 for t we get f of 4 equals 30,000 over 1 plus 20 times e raised to the power of negative 1.5 times 4. By using a calculator we get approximately 28,583. So approximately 28,583 people were ill by the end of the fourth week. What is the limiting size of f of t, the population that becomes ill? Recall that in the logistic growth model, f of t equals c over 1 plus a times e raised to the power of negative b times t. The constant c 
represents the limiting size that f of t can attain. So 30,000 is the limiting size of the population that becomes ill and we are done with this problem. This video is what I did for you. If you want to do something for me, hit the bell button, like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy learning everyone.